Well, I hope you all enjoyed a pleasant summer and re are returning to us refreshed and relaxed and ready to engage with the, all the opportunities that are available to you here at MB. And boy, this is certainly a very busy place. Indeed, since the very mission of the school, which Sophie just read, it's all about inspiring the inner promise of each of our students. We work really hard to present you students with many opportunities to explore and develop your inner passions and your interests. Did you know that in the past school year, including this past summer, more than half of Moses Brown's students went on one of our overnight trips? There's so much that's valuable for you to learn that can't come out of a textbook. Things like how to work on a team to design a boat, or to find the personal resilience to climb a mountain, the open-mindedness to understand somebody from another part of the world, or the courage to try out your foreign language skills with a native speaker. This coming school year, we'll have overnight trips to Nepal, and Italy, China, Germany, the Galapagos Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, the Pacific Northwest, Yellowstone, Washington, D.C., the White Mountains, and even right here in Providence. I hope you students are psyched to try to take advantage of some of those opportunities. Some, of, some people learn best by being active, by doing and making things with their hands, like what happens every day in our wood shop or when our fifth graders build their math arcade games or our eighth graders with their wonderful Rube Goldberg machines. If you enjoy that kind of activity, you are certainly in good company as the so-called maker movement uh, becomes very popular in schools. We're fortunate this year to be opening a brand new facility right there in Alumni Hall called the Y Lab, where hands-on, minds-on learning is going to find a home. It'll be finished next week, we're very excited, and when it opens, students, you're going to have access to a multimedia lab with a green screen for sound and video production, four 3D printers, two CNC mills, a laser cutter, a wire bender, a long arm sewing machine, a robotics lab, and all the tools and raw materials you're going to need to design and build solutions to real world problems. Don't know how to do any of those things right now? I don't either. Don't worry. You just need to be curious enough to give it a try. And to help us out, I'd like to introduce to you David Husted. Over here, David. David's a Moses Brown alumnus. Yep. David is new to us this year, although he is an alumnus from the class of 86. He's our new Director of Innovation and Design, or in other words, the Director of the Y Lab. And he's really excited to show you how to use some of those tools and show you how designing something can deepen your knowledge. Not just in technical fields like engineering, for example, or robotics, but in any academic discipline. Another exciting project that's nearing completion is the construction of 12 squash courts, which you can just see uh, past the group there. We're doing this, uh, this project together with a Boston-based organization called Squash Busters. Their mission is to support urban public school students in grades 6 through 12 in their aspiration to attend college. And their innovative program that combines squash with academic support is incredibly effective. Keep your eye out for a woman named Caitlin, Caitlin Barrett uh, from Squash Busters. Caitlin, are you here by any chance this morning? She is not. Caitlin is the executive director of Squash Busters' new program in Providence. And once she has her program up and running uh, this coming spring, our Moses Brown students will get to know and work with the Squash Busters participants. And I hope that each group will support the other in their journey towards college. So globally minded, collaborative problem solvers with an ethical mindset and an interest in making the world a better place. Those are the, some of our aspirations for you students and some of the skills that we hope you'll develop here this year if you're willing to dig in and seize opportunities. And sadly, the world definitely needs you to get involved. Many of you, no doubt, saw the news coverage of the events in Charlottesville last month. Watching those things unfold on TV, I found myself very glad to belong to a Quaker institution where racism and bigotry have absolutely no home. But I would encourage us, let's not get complacent or self-congratulatory about our values. Let's focus on bringing those values actively into the world and seeing if we can make the world a better place. So as we start the school year together, I want to wish you every success. If you're committed to embracing all the opportunities that you'll find this year, I know you can do amazing things. Welcome back, everyone.
Let's have a great year.